G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. I'm heading out in the port hacking today for a bit of lure fishing with Gary Brown. We're just putting the boat in at the moment. Gary's just reversing me down the, uh, the boat ramp and uh, it should be a nice day. It's a bit of a cold start, but I think we're gonna have a fun day out in the water. All good, Gary? Yeah, mate, I'll always make sure I've got one of the two on. <laughs> and I want to come it off before. <laughs> Just checking his safety chain. No, it's all good. And away we go. As simple as that. Okay, we're just working our way around some of the moored boats. And Gary's up the front working the electric motor. What's the plan, Gary? Well, hopefully you'll be able to come up and sneak up on these boats. And I think the bream are gonna be down deep. Yep. Uh, because the water's like 14.2 degrees. Right, pretty cold, middle of winter, yeah. Cold, yeah, middle of winter. The only time that they'd be up underneath is if they're feeding on anything that's underneath the boat. Yeah, the growth and stuff like that. It's, yeah, the grace and that, but I think that what we'll do is we'll just cast up beside it nice and quietly and then I think we're going to find that you're going to have to leave the plastic or the lure that you're going to use down there for a while and just let it sit there and then hopefully the, boat, the fish will pick it up like, um, like bait fishing. Okay, Yeah. sounds good. Alright, I'm just going to run you through some of the gear we're using. Um, it's quite simple, I've got a lovely little Shimano outfit here, the Stratic. Matched to a little uh, rod, it's a little travel rod that I've been using for quite a while, a two to four kilo, comes in three pieces, Raider, and uh, very handy for, uh, for traveling, also for, uh, for fishing this sort of uh, application today. And Gary's got a beautiful little Akuma outfit there that he's using. And these are some of the lures we're using, just a variety of small grubs and bugs and stuff like that in soft plastics, uh, and very small jig heads. That's the jig head we're gonna be using today. That's a, a 1 12th. Uh, on a one number one hook and uh, as you can see Gary's got a, a really good selection of um, different sizes and weights and hook sizes um, to select from he's got them all numbered uh, just to fish different areas and, and different locations you know run, how much run you got in the water the depth of water and, and all that sort of stuff some days the fish are very finicky you have got to go right down to a very light jig head and, and, and fish it really slow across the bottom and other times they're more aggressive and it just depends every day so it pays to have a really good selection of uh, jig heads and a good mix of soft plastics and when you get out there in the water so sorry so that's the gear we're using sorry to interrupt Scott but can I have the net please oh, have you got a fish on I have <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> a little flathead yeah I think you can lift that in Gary no I've got a, I've got a okay we'll just find the net for Gary and uh yeah, while I was talking about the gear, Gary's come up trumps with a nice little flathead. <laughs> nice work. Well, there you go. As you can see, a little dusky flathead there, and um, it's sucked that lure, or a little crab by the looks of it. He's, he's using a little cranker crab, is it, Gary? Yes, it is, yeah. And he sucked that little cranker crab right in. So, probably not a take home fish. He's a bit small, that one, so he'd probably go back. Nice work, Gary. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, the fish is going to go back. Off he goes. <laughs> it's got to get a fish out of there. That's good. That deserves a car, Gary. Touch. Hey? Change 
Okay, Gary's just found a nice fish off this pontoon here. We've just changed jig heads. We've gone down to what size, Gary? 128. 128 jig head. <laughs> Pretty light. Oh yeah, nice brim. Really nice brim. I'll just grab the camera so we can see him coming in. Did you hit it hard, Gary, or? No, I just lifted it yeah. and just felt the weight, like as if it was a snag. Right. But, uh, yeah, they, because we were using one twelfth before. Yeah. I think they were hitting the, the bottom a bit harder. Right. Um, but because it's really cold. Yeah, middle of winter. Middle of winter, yeah. they're a bit sluggish. Yeah, end of July to today, so. It's hard. Oh, beautiful, Brent. Well done, mate. Nice fish. Okay, yeah, that is a cracker. Nice work. How's that? Yeah, lovely, mate. Lovely. Just on one of those little hidden weight. Yep. Yeah, little hidden weight there. And the, uh, the gulp and shrimp. The gulp. Two inch camo shrimp. Yeah, lovely. We're just in Great Terrell Bay now and um, fishing a deep water spot. And Gary's come up trumps again, of course. And we're just fishing with uh, the plastics right down, down on the bottom. And he caught a little ready a minute, a minute ago and a big king, he followed it right to the surface. Now he's got a, uh, what looks like, maybe a trevally? I don't know whether it's a trevally or a rib or a ready or... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you guessing. Oh, yeah, it looks no. like a nice ready. It's a ready. Yeah. yeah. Might go legal, I think, this Dinner. one, Gary. Yeah. Dinner. I'll just get the net for you. Let's bring the camera over and have a little look. Here he comes. Nice work. So, middle of winter and a nice snapper on a plastic. Okay. In the deep water. Good job, Gary. Yeah, mate. Dinner. I'm just here today to hold the camera. <laughs> oh, how awesome. <laughs> My favourite eating fish is pan-sized snapper. Yeah. He's like probably that. about 33 to 35, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So 30 centimetres being legal yeah. in New South Wales. So nice fish, mate. Good. And like we're fishing in... What are we fishing in here? 15 metres. 15 metres, and I'm using a 128 jig head. Good work. Nice job. Lots in it. I thought I seen the stop. Yep. Fish on. Fish on. About time.
Might be a good plenty, is it? Yeah, it could be, I think. It's got some weight to it, Gary. Yeah, it has. Yep. Might be a big stingray. Right, I think, it, I think it might be a big flatty. I think it might be. I'm just worried of, of using golf to lure right down. Yeah. We're using six pound line. So if I put too much on it, I could lose him. So I'm just going to go gently, gently. And uh, we'll see if I can l land this beautiful flathead. It's a cracker. <laughs> Nice and easy. Wait, he's on top. Yeah. No rush. Oh, Mark. Yeah. A little bit of a challenge here. I'm trying to film at the moment why Gary's got the net. And this flathead just keeps pulling away from us. Down he goes again. If I had ten pound on here, Gary, I'd give him a little bit of uh, a little bit of curry. But with that six pound trace, I've got my light, my drag set very light. Hey, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what a fish. Hey? Well done. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. Six That's pound. A, six pound, a little tiny blood ram. Well, I've gone to the blood worm blood wriggler, wriggler from Squidgy yeah. and it's uh, it's done the job for me. So the blood worm wriggler did the trick. Beautiful flathead up here in the back of Port Hacking. In the middle of winter. As you can see, caught right in the corner of its mouth. Hey, what a beautiful fish, Gary. It is, mate. Okay, yeah. now let my beautiful flathead go now. Do you want to measure it first? No, not interested no? in measuring it. No. Probably around that, what, 70 centimetres? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, we can do it on here, can't we? Let's check it on here, Gary. 68. 68. 68 centimetres. Beautiful flathead. Woo! There she goes. Hey, how good's that? Well done, mate. There you go. Putting you up the front of the boat. What do you do? Catch a fish. Five minutes at the front of the boat, guys, after I push Gary out of the way, and I finally get a fish. <laughs> well, Gary, that was a fantastic morning on Port Hacking River. Yeah, it was. It was one of the tougher days, but we got three yeah. good quality fish. Uh, I got a snapper, got a brim. Then you went up the front of the boat, pushed me out of the way. And <laughs> got, and got lucky and caught, and caught a fish today, so yeah. that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. And that's what you can do on lures in the Port Hacking River, guys. You put a little bit of effort in. Now, guys, follow us next week on The Hook and the Cook for another fantastic clip. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And please subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers. I'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.